welcome to Real World's second online tutorial. Um, I'm Harriet Parry and today we're going to be looking at how to arrange a front-facing bouquet. Um, so all of the flowers are arranged to the front and slight to the side and these arrangements can sit on a sideboard um, or a mantelpiece or in a corner where, um, yeah, a corner that needs jollying up. And so it's a good idea to decide where you want to put your arrangement before you start arranging because um, you might need more flowers on the side slightly or more at the front and also your eye level whether it's on a high sideboard or a low sideboard um, but yeah here's one I made earlier and I arranged in this vase this shaped vase here um, I just want to show you um, how flowers can look in different vases because um, today I'm going to be using this large <laughs> yeah I'm going to be using this large um, jar which I found in my um, kitchen um, but yeah with this I actually used a grid system which you use sellotape to make a grid system on the top of the vase and then you place your flowers in the gaps so that's a real handy tip for uh, if you haven't got as much time but I think we've got um, quite a lot of time haven't we at the moment so uh, yeah but it's there just in case just in case uh, you wanted to use it, which I've done with this vase because the vase goes out. So you've got a bigger area at the top and it helps flowers to sit better. Whereas the vase I'm going to be using today, the jar I'm going to be using today has a narrower neck um, and a larger bottom, which hold flowers um, really beautifully. So yeah, let's uh, pop this over there. So we can still see. Um, yeah, I've arranged my flowers here in groups and they've been drinking already. Um, so they're nice and strong, ready for arranging. Um, and what you'll need is clean water in your vase or jar or jug, um, some sharp scissors and your flowers, of course, as well. Um, yeah, so you can use any flowers. Um, you could use flowers if you've got a garden, um, or if you are going to the supermarket on your essentials trip, um, pick up some supermarket flowers as well. Um, so yeah, I'll go through what I've got. Um, I've got Limonium blue, blue Plurum, which are my base filler flowers, and they're lots of little heads, and they're quite fluffy. Um, and this is what I'm going to start with. I've also got some Alstroemeria as well. These have got some that's just coming into bloom and um, we've also got some a wonderful <sighs> smelling matiola um, stocks they are beautiful um, and we've got some roses as well so these are our uh, focal flowers and focal flowers could be you could have hydrangeas or not hydrangeas well hydrangeas are a focal flower um, carnations um, gerberas um, yeah and then we've got these little crispedias as well um, so first of all I'm going to leave that there um, we're going to arrange, you arrange like a tier system, so I'm going to start first of all with my limonium. Limonium dries really beautifully, um, so I'm just going to cut my stems about an inch at a 45 degree angle, because this is a bigger surface area for water to go up for your flowers to drink, um, so that's a good tip. And also remove all of your leaves that are going to go in the water line, uh, under the water line. So we're going to do, we're going to arrange in a crisscross fashion. There we go. This is a taller one. Trim the stem. So your back's not going to be seen. So your back's going to be sort of flat. So we'll use the taller stems at the back. There we go. We can jiggle them around afterwards. There we go. Um, I've got some shorter bits here. Hopefully you can see. I'm going to save these for later because you can dress the front of the vase. You can have shorter flowers at the front um, and they can sit on the rim. So that's sort of a medium size one. So we'll trim put him there, coming out. And I'm going to put my blue plurum, trim him down. I'm gonna follow the shape of the stem. Shape of the stem. So this is going across this way. So I'm gonna just angle him in there. So another filler flower could be Trixophilia, a spray carnation, a spray chrysanthemum. Um, right, I'm gonna, that's got enough, a lovely curve going this way, so again, I'm going to angle him and put him there. 
And you want to think of it as like tiers going down. So you've got a flat back and it's sort of like a dome going forward. Um, so you want to kind of have a mix of your folk flowers and your filler flowers. This one's a sh short little bit. I might save that short little bit for later. Um, next of all, I'm going to put in my Alstroemeria. So again, you want some at the back, some in the middle and some at the front. So I'm just going to pop that sort of, yeah, you can use your vase as a measuring device as well. So that's going to go in the middle. So I'm just going to pop him in there. Okay. I'm going to put that leaf, take up any leaves that are a bit damaged off. Up there. That's in there. Okay. Another one. Going to the front. Yeah, he sits at the front. Now oh, this one's got a very short stem, so I'm just going to trim him down and put him at the front as well, just to like just sits on the rim of the vase. Okay, all right, next of all, I'm going to put my stocks in, my wonderful smelling stocks. Okay, I'm just going to take some of these leaves off, cut again, 45 degree angle. We'll just dress him in the middle. Okay, these are great for, for defining your shape. So bring I'm dressing it to camera, so I'm sort of looking, looking in. Okay, I've got a tall one here, so let's pop him at the back. Now all of your stems are going to be supporting each other because of, you've got this cri crisscross thing going on. Um, so yeah, let's pop him in here on the side. I'm just going to turn it round. Good. Oh, actually, that gives you a good look at the back. So you've got a flat back. So again, you want each flower to shine. So if anything sort of like slipped to the back, bring it forward. Move it around. Okay, I'm just going to pop, I'm pop that in the middle, him in the middle. Okay. And maybe let's bring the, your eye with this. Let's put him there because then you've got a wave sort of going across. Oh, and one thing to mention actually is I work a lot in triangles. So you've got one, two, three there. So there's a triangle there because um, odd numbers and triangles, they're quite aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So I apply that with my flowers. So let's just pop him in there as well okay coming together he might need lifting up a bit later we've got more stems in because he's dropping down at the moment and actually that's what the grid system that i showed you earlier is quite useful for because it actually holds holds the flowers together right but we've got loads of roses so let's put those in because then we can sort of like ultra move move them around a little bit okay Okay, so your tallest ones want to go at the back, so I'm just going to see which ones I've got tall. This is a really nice tall one. Pop him here. There we go. Another tall one. I'm just going to bring the eye again. You're working from the back to the front and you're moving down in almost a zigzag way. So you've got Colour here, colour here, colour here. I'm going to bring a pop of colour here. So yeah, just, and there's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong at all. It's about so what, what looks good for you. What, what feels right for you. Just go with the flow. Don't think about it too much. Be playful. Just, I think we need a bit of orange there. Can you see? So you've got, so you want to follow the eye. And also you've got a mix of these focals and fillers. There. Let's use the 
Oh, and actually, if you've got any damaged outer petals um, on a rose, I can just see one here. Just peel them off. It's not going to damage the flower at all. Um, sometimes, actually, flowers, roses have guard petals, which you sort of have a slightly different colour. So you can take those off. But yeah, any bruised or damaged ones, just take them off. It's not going to harm. Okay, another, another, let's have a look. Let's just turn it round. One in the middle here, trim them off. Okay, I think we need some, maybe a low rose down here. So I've got a short stem. Pop, just jiggle. main thing is you don't want to cram too many flowers into your vase this is why you need to choose a vase that fits fits them because you want each flower to shine okay I'm just gonna pop let's go with the color oh my gosh my strap again <laughs> not self wear uh, don't wear dungarees next time <laughs> okay I'm just gonna pop Another rose on the right hand side. Actually, he's not fitting in. Let's give him a wiggle. There you go. Give him a bit of a jig. I'm going to put another low rose on this side. I'm just going to trim him down. Okay. Just angle your stems across in that crisscross way because they want to go like this. So this rose stem is going like this. It's not going straight down. And it's like spokes on a wheel with your stems. Okay. Next one. Okay, I've got a stock here that he is getting lost at the back, voila. So I'm going to bring, bring it over here, just place it, there, just to give some height. There we go. Brings your eye there. So, okay. Right, one last rose. We just take it. Where do we think we need it? Maybe a really low. Maybe. A really low one, or are these astromeria is getting a bit lost. They might be. Give them a jig, a jiggle across. So yeah, because those astromeria are going to fill those gaps. So you've got those are going to open and just fill there. So I'm not going to put a rose there. I'm going to put a rose here in this gap here. Okay. There we go. If anything feels like it's got squash, just give him a little, little gentle wiggle. I'll pull up. There we go. Um, right, and then I've got my craspedias, which these will dry um, and they will stay exactly the same. So once you've removed, once your flowers have gone past their best, you can take these out and the limonium because you can keep them and reuse them because um, they're great dried. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to place these and I'm going to just do, I'm going to do one torn at the back. I'm going to go with my triangles. So I'm going to go one to one at the back, sticking up here. Make sure that all your flower stems are in water. It's always key. We don't want any fading flowers. Um, right, so one, I'm going to bring the eye down just here between these two, I think. And I think I might do one really low one here. So you see you've got your triangle. One, two, three. So your eye is brought down this tier system back to front. Okay, let's cut this and pop. Where did I say I was going to go? Yeah, I think. Nice little, little accent, nice little ding. And also I've got my little bits that I don't want to go to waste. So 
going to recut their stems because they've been out of water for a few minutes. Um, and then I'm just going to fill these little gaps, I think, down here, just to sit on the edge of the rim. A little bit of melonium. Pop him right in the middle. There you go. And then just like little twinkles, you see? Just that brings your eye to you've got lamonium here. And we haven't actually got any of this white twinkle at the front. So let's, let's put some more. There we go. Let's do that there. Again, make sure, because these have got short stems, just make sure that they're in water. Only really short stems. There we go. If I can push that really low, that's a sort of There you go. Just give it a bit of a boom. So here we go. Two bouquets arranged in two different vases. One using the grid system I showed you earlier with sellotape on my vase. Um, and yeah, one arranged without. But yeah, also to make your flowers last as long as they can, don't put them near direct sunlight, um, in, uh, next to a radiator, in a draft, or next to fruit actually, because they release strange gases. That make flowers fade um, but yeah and also send in your pictures to bloom and wild um, hashtag flower hour um, yeah we want to see what you've what you've made at home um, yeah and just want to say stay safe have fun be playful and lots of love from me and from bloom and wild um, and i will see you soon on the next um, flower arranging lesson so goodbye and see you soon <laughs>